Hey Bija, and in today's video I will be reacting during to episodes 9 and 10 of BNA. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 9 and 3, 2, 1, go. Today is somewhat stressful. Oh my god. Okay, so you know how everybody and their grandma trying to play Persona 5 Royal and get them themes? Okay, so I got themes, right? I didn't get the themes that I was supposed to get first. I got the freaking Makoto. Yusuke and Futa, uh, Futaba theme at like 1 o'clock in the afternoon. It's almost 2 and I'm like, okay, but where's the first set? And then I find out PlayStation set. Well, I kind of, I had a feeling about that last night that it was down, but oh my god, they, I'm like, um, hey, I want my other themes. I ain't gonna try to be mean. I'm not gonna act my color today. I'm just, I, I was nice and respectable. I added them on Twitter. I'm about to, well, after I'm done recording this and doing a couple other things, I might message them on them. Then I got to do some other things. So, yeah. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There's another thing I want to talk about with this show, but we're going to wait until the final episode because, ooh! Because <laughs> I found out how many episodes this show was. But it's not fair though, and it's not right. Mm. Yes! So you're just fine being a big brother. <laughs> like what?
Um. Yeah, until he met what's his face and what's his face gave him something and then it just changed him. I mean, this dude went like all fucking kiddo on his ass. He's like, okay, mm, you talk shit, here you go. Mm. What the fuck? Unless she's working together with him. Which honestly would not fucking surprise me if she is. What if she runs into Alan? What the fuck? What the hell are you doing? Mm-hmm. What the fuck did I say? What the fuck did I say? I told you! She came around all on a cord.
Of course. We all do that. <laughs> Oh my god. How the hell does that not go? Oh my god. Are y'all fucking kidding me? So no, it's just that easy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. More left. But hold on, what if she doesn't want that though? Oh my god. So no, not he was always one step ahead. Of course. Yeah, but then, I don't know.
Will anybody? You serious? Nobody gonna apologize first? But is that what you really want, though? See? I don't trust that shit. I mean, because, come on, he a pretty boy. Sometimes you can't trust pretty boys in animes. This is now the second fucking series. <laughs> Breaking from there. And now this series. Well, in a way, she is. But it's complicated. And plus, you're untrustworthy. But it's up there. If she wants to still be a human again, that's fine. I'm going to speak bullshit on that. Like, come on now. <laughs> come on. Well, of course he is. But there's something about Alan that I don't trust. Let's see. And then you put this creepy ass music on him? Mm-mm. Mm -hmm. 
You motherfucker. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Are you fucking you? Who ends like that? Come on, Nasty. I'm telling you. He is so untrustworthy. I'm sorry. Like, you cannot. To me, and it's, it's, it's ever since I've watched Promare, and anytime when I look at a pretty boy, uh, specifically in a trigger series, I automatically you know, cannot trust them now. Because watching that movie at 2 in the morning, Trying to watch it on my freaking TV to the end. I had to watch it on my damn phone. And I saw the dude. And I'm sitting here. I'm like, I like you, but I can't trust you. So what the fuck happened at the end? He was the bad guy. And I was like, mm, mm, mm. and then Alan comes in. And I'm like, okay, you're pretty. You're cute. I like you. But at the same time, in the back of my mind, I'm like, no, I cannot trust your ass. He is planning something else. They still haven't gone in depth on this, like, green stuff that Boris used on What's His Face, which I fucking hate. We only got three episodes left. There is no way in hell that you can sit here and explain that ish. I am sorry. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go ahead and say it now. I was going to wait until episode 12 to talk about this, but fuck it. I'm going to say it now. 12 episodes, in my opinion, is not enough. This felt like this should have been a 20 something episode series. The one thing that pissed me off about this show, even though we ain't done yet, is the fact is you release the first six episodes not only on Netflix, but also online. And this is what I kind of somewhat hate about binging a show when you binge a show you really don't get the full like story because you're getting it from point a to point b in like a certain amount of time and when you're going back and you're trying to explain something to someone or whoever you feel like there's still a lot of unanswered stuff in the pieces that's why i feel like most netflix shows like <sighs> 13 reasons why why i never could get into that fucking series didn't explain as much to me. I mean, there are some Netflix shows where they're like, oh, we're going to release everything weekly. This should have been released on a weekly fucking basis instead of being, here's the first six episodes in one month, here's the last six episodes in another month because it, it's going to be one of those series that maybe, not really me, but like some other people are going to have to sit and watch a second time to understand certain things. But I mean, damn. This is now, what, like, the second or third Trigger show that they've had that's only been, like, 12 episodes? Uh, no, I can't talk about that yet. I'm going to wait until the last episode to talk about. Between the three shows that have only really had 12 episodes as a Trigger show, I'll say which one is my... It, it, where I would rank those three. But, I mean, okay. The fact is that, yes, Alan is so untrustworthy that it's not even funny. I mean... I can't even... Like, I trust Nazana, but then, like, at the same time, I don't... It's just, yeah, you're working with this pretty boy. Pretty ass fuck boy. But, I mean, oh, mm-mm, mm-mm. There is something he is hiding from her that he hasn't told. And with three episodes left to go, it's bound to come back, come out. Same thing with the ish about Shido. That's going to come out as well. I mean, yes, I get the fact that Mishiru was like, I'm going to go take this secret and I'm going to run and I'm going to tell my best friend so that my best friend can stop being this, pro uh, this false prophet. I get that. There's a good fucking reason to say that. But still, because of that, she ain't stopping. She's still going. And... Fucking Alan was the one who suggested this shit. No matter what, Alan has always been two steps ahead of both Michiru and Shido. And the fact that, like, this was all just a big old misunderstanding because the, the freaking animal blood got dropped and someone put it into human blood, took it to the damn hospital. Are you serious? Like, nobody wanted to stop and, like, look at it and stuff. No, like, mm, okay, this is just human blood. Let's just assume it's human blood and throw it in the human blood. But, I mean, that's a little, uh, that's funny to me. I mean, honestly. <laughs> I, I don't know what to expect with these last three episodes. I know they're going to be good as fuck, but, ooh, like, mm. The misunderstandings in this episode was way, way top tier. But go ahead and pause the video. And I'll see you guys in one second for episode 10. Alright, episode 10 in 3, 2, 1, go. I wouldn't even be surprised if like, the secret about Shadow comes out like, between this episode and episode 11. I don't know. Something's coming. We all know it's coming. I don't know. I mean, it's a good thing I didn't watch this last night because if I did, 
<laughs> because I think at the time when I was watching uh, my dad's second ambition, I think only nine to 11 was out. And I was like, well, I still need 12 and 12. I didn't get 12 until about 11, 12 o'clock at night. Cause I was busy playing Persona 5 <laughs> and I finally checked it. I was like, Oh, okay, there it is. But, Oh God. I think I would have been like, however, maybe 11 is going to end. Oh, I probably would have been really pissed. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, well, finally she's coming back in. Jesus, it's been like how long since we've seen her? Mm -hmm. I mean, my thing is, like, can't they, like, take a blood sample or some shit from this dude and then just, like, mm -hmm. the medical center, though, can't trust him. Yeah, please don't. Let's just take his ass and... I'm sure there's things from the end of the last episode. What the heck? You know, it's not a trigger show without robots. I'm just saying. Or like something. Is that really necessary, though? I mean, oh my god. Okay. Mm, all right. And plus she hard headed. We've known that since episode one.
Something about that's bullshit to me. Because y'all could be using the basement for something. The more I look at him, the more I want to punch him in the face. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, explain everything, please. Don't leave any bullshit out. I swear to God. Make sure go berserk.
So then that could have been what Boris was trying to do. But then, okay, hold up. Let's just say you need Nazana <laughs> and Mijini's blood. Maybe that's the key. Damn it, Shiro. Oh my god. This is bullshit! Even if he does, he's not something I understand.
Sí. Mm -mm. Mm. <laughs> so trust her. <laughs> if you only knew. Y'all, I know. But it's going to. I have that feeling. Between these next two episodes, something's gonna happen. Oh God, Cody. <laughs> Bullshit. And it's all his fault. That's it. <laughs> I'm going to say this. 
I don't know who to trust right now. Like, I, I the only people I can really trust right now at the end of the day is Michiru and Shido for two different reasons. I, I just, oh, every almost it just seems like everybody as of right now is corrupted. They all they they don't care about anyone but themselves and the shit that they want to do. And it's just like, oh my god, I don't know, I don't know. We have two episodes left. How the hell are you gonna like? <laughs> And this series with two episodes of I don't know. Oh my god. There's so many unanswered questions. <laughs> you can't answer everything in two episodes. Oh my god. I really, you know what? I need Alan to go. <laughs> Please. This motherfucker. This pretty boy. Oh my god. Like, mm. he a snake. <laughs> oh my god. He is just like. This is like a fucking chess game to him, and everybody is a fucking pawn no matter what. I mean, oh, I, I don't like the fact that, like, once again, the Michi Dimensional have argued. Again, and it's just like, oh my god, I just need them to just talk it out. The fact that the mayor is siding with them, and it's just like, who the fuck can she you don't know, trust in this time except the mafia vibe? What's his name? His dad? I don't know. I'm so scared. Like, uh, something's gonna happen at this live. Like, I don't know. Like, the terrorists are coming. coming. Somebody is coming with these last two episodes because something in the back of my mind and in the pit of my stomach does not feel right to me. And it's going to go from bad to worse where it's like all these freaking beastmen. There's going to be a big ass riot during this freaking live. <sighs> I don't know. Something about this is just not right. It's just that pit in the in my stomach that I have. Like, oh god, I don't know. I'm just really, I'm anxious and I'm scared and I'm nervous. I'm like every single emotion <laughs> all in one right now because something bad is coming and I can just feel it. But I ain't gonna know until I watch the last two episodes. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes nine and ten of BNA. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Metro Squad. And of course, I will see you guys in a couple of minutes for the last two episodes. Bye, guys.